Hi there, it's Saturday night, and um, I'm sitting here, and um, I'm about to have another whiskey. I just had some uh, Kilbegan uh, double distilled traditional Irish whiskey, which was nice. Um, but this evening I went to the store, and I was looking for something. Um, very often when I go to the liquor store, I'm looking for something, and I end up coming home with something else. I was going to get a bottle of um, American Oak aged uh, Achintoshin, not to be confused with the Virgin Oak version of Achintoshin, which I saw when I was in the States uh, a week ago. And that one costs down there about $157 at uh, Total Wine in Seattle. And uh, the one I'm talking about is not the virgin oak, but the ex-bourbon barrel uh, American oak uh, um, Achintoshin, which sells for about $50 Canadian. I was going to get one of those, but here's another thing that cost about $50 Canadian. Well, $57 if you include all the tax and everything. This here is a... NDS bottle of whiskey. That means there's, you know how there are bottles of whiskey with no age statement. It doesn't say how many years old it is or how many years it's been in the oak. This one is a, doesn't have a distillery uh, um, mentioned on there. So it's a NDS, a no distillery statement whiskey. So I don't know who makes it. It says here it's a, uh, well, take a look at the label. It's 95 years, and it's 20 years old. So here, um, it's a uh, distilled in celebration, especially for BC liquor stores. So this is like the uh, a house brand from BC liquor stores, but it's a little more special than that. It's aged 20 years. It's 100% Canadian. It's small batch distilled, limited edition of 1921 bottles, finishing long and smooth with aromas of orange peel, toffee, and roasted nuts and spices. Okay, but it still doesn't say what distillery it's from. And on this side it says our story established in 19. 21 BC Liquor Stores mission is to bring great tastes and experiences to the people of our province. We are proud of what we do and strive to expand choice and selection for BC's drinkers. And it doesn't say anything else on here. It just says it's 20-year-old Canadian whiskey. I have no idea who makes it or who made it. Oh, there was a fly on my Glen Cairn glass. I seem to have a little infestation of fruit flies. They seem to be around here. Oh, every so often you'll see a little fruit fly flying around here. And they're tiny little things. They don't bite you or anything. They're just there. Huh. Now... Oh, good pop. Very good pop. Let's pour us a drum of this and see what we got. I have my suspicions of where this might come from. It's got a plastic cork. Those plastic corks um, are a familiar thing as well. They look a lot like, well, <laughs> I'm bottomless right now, so I'm not going to pull that trick. <laughs> All right. Let's give it a, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Smells like a corn whiskey. 
It's uh, 750 mils of it, and it's bottled at 40, yes, 40% 40 alcohol by volume. I bet you I know what this is. It smells like corn. Maybe there's weed in it. You know what it smells like. It smells like a a 20-year-old version of Centennial. So it's probably a corn whiskey with a bit of winter wheat in the mash bill with the corn. And it's 20 years old, so it'll have more flavor than uh, the Centennial. I'm beginning to suspect this is from the Highwood Distillery in Calgary, Alberta. But since it's marketed, it says distilled especially for British Columbia liquor stores. Well, they're not going to say that it's brewed in Calgary <laughs> when it's being sold, or they're not going to say that it's distilled in Calgary when it's uh, marketed for British Columbia, but I'm, I'm pretty sure who else would have a 20 year old corn whiskey. And, and yeah, I think there's some weed in the mash bill too, like Centennial, but it's 20 years old instead of like five years old or whatever. Oh, okay. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It noses and tastes like a whiskey from Highwood in Calgary, Alberta. Mm -hmm. It's got that. There's a lot of corn in the mash bill. Probably, like I said, some winter wheat. You know. It may even be pure corn, but it doesn't have quite as much flavor as 90. So it could be like a 20 year old 90, but bottled at 40% rather than 45. And I guess they couldn't make it exactly like 90. It's not bad. And there's only, what is it, 1,921 bottles, so that's a limited release. It's not the most limited release I've ever had. Mm. It's pretty good. Easy drinking whiskey. And uh, yeah, it's like a lot of products from Highwood. It's like the Centennial, but 20 years old. So um, yeah, I'll drink to your health. I'll drink to my health. I'll drink to everyone's health. Cheers. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha.